We have a big show this morning. Gail King is along the U.S.-Mexico border, and we're going to hear from her in just a moment. Alex Wagner is here with us. The battle over the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy on immigration is intensifying, with lawmakers in both parties condemning it as cruel and inhumane. The administration still defends the strategy. Thousands of people protested across Texas yesterday. They accused the administration of punishing undocumented children by removing them from their parents. The Department of Homeland Security confirms 1,995 children were separated from their parents between April 19th and May 31st. Gail is in McAllen, Texas, leading our team along the southern border. She has been talking to parents recently reunited with their children. Right now, she's at a Border Patrol facility where hundreds of migrant families are being detained. Gail, a lot of people are deeply distressed about this story. Good morning. I'm one of those people deeply distressed. I am so glad we're here and that we have a team here to bring a light as to what's happening. We landed yesterday afternoon, Alex. We jumped in a car, drove an hour, and we went to a location where parents had just been reunited with their kids. Some of them had been separated for as long as six days. And all I can say to you is this, the Statue of Liberty, based on the stories that I heard and the people that I talked to and the things I saw with my own eyes, the Statue of Liberty is really weeping today. But let's start here exactly where we are. Behind me, this converted warehouse is the first stop for many of the undocumented families caught at the southern border. It's where federal officials try to weed out criminals. An executive officer at this center told us, and by the way, look at this center. It's a nondescript, unmarked building, and that it, it is built that way for a reason. They don't want you to know exactly what happens behind that building. The 55,000 square foot facility can hold about 1,500 people. Yesterday, more than 1,000 were being processed here. That includes more than 500 families, 197 un unaccompanied children. David Begno was part of a select group of reporters who got to see inside the facility. So, David, what did you see? It was rare that they let you inside. What did you see? Yeah, we saw people in cages. They looked cages? Like cages. They looked like animal kennels. We could not record anything. We couldn't talk to anyone. All they allowed us to do was take notes. So here's what we saw. There were cages with fathers and kids. There were other cages with mothers and kids. In one place, there was a cage of just children. Unaccompanied minors were told to cross the border alone. Some had blank looks on their faces. Some were smiling and walking around. We had 15 minutes to document everything. These are the images the government gave us to show you of the Rio Grande Valley Processing Center. The facility appears to be clean and sterile. Children and adults are seen huddled together in the building that's divided up into chain link fencing that looks like a cage. Monique Graham is an executive officer at the center. She says parents without an extensive criminal history will not be separated from their children if the child is four years old or younger. What happens if you're five and older and your mother or father doesn't have a significant criminal history? The, ch the child will not be prosecuted. Right. The adult will. Under the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy, every adult who comes into the country illegally is sent to see a judge for possible prosecution. And that is when the parent is separated from the child. That separation can be just a few hours, or if the parent is sent to jail, it can be weeks, months, or even years. That was just an administrative decision. Yes. Not a law. Correct. We saw detainees eating snacks. We're told they get two hot meals a day. They can take showers every other day, and their clothes are laundered. People continue coming in in bigger numbers, bigger numbers. Manuel Padilla Jr., the Border Patrol's Rio Grande sector chief, says agents have apprehended 108,000 people so far this year, including more than 39,000 parents and their children, and 14,500 minors who arrived at the border by themselves. What does separating families help you do? There is no policy to separate families. The zero tolerance policy is intended to deter people from breaking the law, adults. Congressman Peter Welsh represents Vermont. He toured the facility yesterday. What can a congressman from Vermont do to stop it? Well, a congressman from Vermont alone can't do much, but many congressmen and many Americans speaking out can turn it around. This is un-American. It's appalling and it's unnecessary. At this facility where we are, detainees stay here for no longer than 72 hours. And Border Patrol says what they try and do is actually put the children separated from their parents with other family members already living in the U.S. But, Gail, sometimes that can take up to 57 days. Get this. Since the zero tolerance policy went into effect in May, more than 1,100 kids just at this facility 
have been separated from their parents. It is a very complicated story, and the bottom line is that people, despite all that they've been through, want to be in this country. They worked hard to get here, and they want to stay. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. You always paint such a picture.